the Department of the Air Force is taking a new approach to body composition standards. The abdominal circumference measurement was removed from the Air Force Physical Fitness Assessment in 2020. But starting in April, Airmen and Guardians will have a new waist-to-height ratio measurement taken around their birthday as part of the new program. The measurement will be reviewed during their annual medical periodic health assessment. The measurement helps identify excess fat distribution in the abdomen, which is linked to increased health risk. Members who don't meet the standards will be enrolled in an informal self-directed body composition improvement program for 12 months and referred for a medical evaluation of risk factors. Civilian employees looking for the chance to improve their skills can apply for the Air Force's Civilian Development Program. People in grades GS-7 through GS-15 can self-nominate for a development opportunity through February 17th. The Air Force Personnel Center says there are 35 programs offering a range of experiences from professional military education to fellowships and academic courses, to name a few. Air and Space Force civilians can apply for up to four programs through the My Vector website. The F-35 Lightning II is getting a tech refresh at Edwards Air Force Base, California. The new configuration modernizes the computer core of the aircraft, supporting new sensor suites, long-range precision weapons, improved electronic warfare features, and more. Developmental and operational test flights will continue through 2023 to ensure safety and prove warfighting capabilities. Lieutenant General Mike Schmidt, Executive Officer for the F-35 Joint Program Office, says the refresh is a significant achievement for the aircraft and will provide pilots with the capabilities needed to be successful against any adversary. That's your look around the Air Force. I'm Staff Sergeant Jasmine Granger.